Sound speeds, and I'm going to be candid with you in this video. That way you hear the way I naturally speak throughout this video as a baseline. And then at the end, when I do my demonstration, you're going to hear how bad it throws me off if it does at all. Keep in mind, I'm a professional and I could probably overcome it. No, I can't. I've done it before and it does throw me off. Let the truth be known, but don't get ahead of me. Stay with me because the topic I'm going to be discussing in this video is delay and it is an important one to understand. Delay affects you all over the place. Doesn't matter in what aspect. For example, let's just say you use USB microphones and you do podcasting. If you do not use the zero latency monitoring on the back of the microphone itself and plug your headphones into that, then most likely you're going to be encountering some sort of delay as it loops back through your computer because you, you, you perhaps have a host and you have to hear them. You can't just hear your voice in the microphone because you have bumper music or, or a Skype call with a guest. Whatever the case may be, you could have delay there. If you use the DD Connect wireless system, there's 19, 30, or 40 milliseconds of delay built into that to help repair the audio throughout transmission if it runs into an error. Or if you do big, huge speaker systems for PAs uh, in either a church or you do it for a big thing like the presidential address, you have to understand delay in the way that it, it's affected by real world conditions and distance and that kind of thing too. But don't let me get ahead of myself just yet. Delay falls into two main categories, real world type environmental that you run into in the real world, and then more of a digital type processing delay. Let's talk first about the real world environmental. Sound travels, well, actually, let's just take it very so slow from the very beginning. Sound is vibration traveling through some sort of a medium. And in the case me of me right now, it is air. Now, the camera is about four feet away from me, but the microphone is only about six inches away. And because it's hardlined, it is more or less exactly synced to that camera. But if that camera were moved 1,125 feet or about 343 meters away from me, and I am no longer hardlined, I am screaming out at the top of my voice, let's just say through a power horn or through a speaker system, the sound travels through the air and that is the distance it would take for it to be delayed one second, 1,125 feet or about 343 meters per second. Now, that number changes a little bit based on different factors, humidity, pressure, temperature, things like that. And I have another video where I go into that and demonstrate it and, and talk much more about it. But that's the gist of it that I'm going to get into in this video. Watch that video if you'd like to learn more about it. I'll put a link at the end of this video as well. But real world conditions affect how sound travels through. And there's a wonderful website that's full of tools and, and stuff for you to geek out over if you're a sound person like me. And I'm going to share this website with you. You've seen me use it many times on this channel before, but I'm going to share it with you now, even though I put it in the description before. I'm going to put it in the description again today, but you're going to appreciate it. This is singpileaudio.com. Now, if you go to it, it's actually in German. So some people who are German would appreciate that, but you can also click English right there, or you can right click it and go down to translate to English. But regardless, it is full of all kinds of resources. It has quizzes that helps you to understand sound, conversion, calculations, all this kind of thing. And the thing that we're going to use this video, uh, we're going to use it for in this video is calculating speed of sound. And I'm going to refresh this page and scroll down. That way you can see that at 20 degrees Celsius, which is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, if I calculate right there, it shows me that 343 meters per second, it shows the, the exact amount. And at 1,126 feet per second, you see how it fluctuates a little bit? That is the, the speed of sound in air at sea level. And that's it, just an average pressure, average humidity, average whatever. 20 degrees Celsius. Let's just say that we're at zero degrees Celsius though. What is that going to do to the meters per second or the feet per second? It is going to go down. It's not going to travel nearly as well in freezing cold weather. Now you may say, but that brings the particles closer together. Wouldn't that be closer to being a solid? Well, in the case of air, no, because what it does is the air, the air particles are nowhere near as excited anymore, so it doesn't carry nearly as well. And let's just say that we're going for boiling, uh, you know, conditions in air, 100 degrees Celsius. Sounds going to love that. It's going to travel really, really far. Look at that. So that gives you a little bit of an idea, just messing with just the temperature alone and how that can affect your sound. Now, I mentioned in the opening of this video why this is important to understand with regards to 
sound and how it travels. Let's just say that we are hardlining a boom and then you have wireless microphones on an actor. Well, if I am, let's just say 40 feet away, it's a real big wide shot and someone's screaming out and I'm pointing the boom at them from, let's say 40 feet away, there is going to be approximately two frames of delay built into that. And why is that? Well, you can estimate 1,125 feet per second. It's an estimate. It's not exactly right. Approximately one foot is one millisecond of delay or one meter is approximately three milliseconds of delay. Again, it's not perfect. It's actually closer to 13 inches rather than 12 inches that, that creates one millisecond of delay. But who's going to be counting, right? I mean, that's an approximate. And that's important to know because if you go into post and you're trying to match up your sound to someone that's screaming, that might be important for you to know is, is the delay that happens. And since we mentioned the DAD Connect wireless system, let's go ahead and revisit that again. There is inherent delay into that. So if you hardline your boom and then you're using the 19 millisecond mode, or let's just go for it. Let's say 40 milliseconds of delay, okay, because uh, you're using the high latency mode. And if you point a hardline boom at somebody, you're going to hear about 40 milliseconds of delay coming back at you unless that person is approximately 40 feet away because that's going to more or less that the gap in the air from your boom microphone picking up that person's sound is going to more or less even out with the delay that comes down the wireless line. And that's something you have to be aware of because it can affect your sync. And if you have too much delay, that could also affect the ability of of the time code to be accurate. So for example, uh, so, so just to, just to explain that if you were to slap the sticks and let's just say that your time code is no longer working. So I said time code to be accurate, but it's, it's a visual thing. If you're trying to match it up with the, the, the sticks being clapped and you're too far away, big sticks, let's say, and you're trying to do it by sound, there's going to be a delay there. So be aware of that. Now it's also important to understand the digital side of things. For example, if you do any kind of digital processing because you, let's just say, use some VSTs, or let's just say that you're adjusting the, the number of samples in your IO buffer size, something along those lines, and you're going to be adding delay. And because there's not real time processing with some VSTs, it could start to add perhaps compression or delay or, you know, compression or let's just say a limiter or uh, you know, any kind of, you know, uh, special types of warbling or something like that, reverb, those kinds of things could potentially, depending on the VST you're using, add delay to your system. And you want to be very careful of how much delay there is because too much, if you're listening on your headphones, you're going to hear a delay because when you hear your voice speak on the outside of the microphone, unless your headphones are completely noise canceling and don't hear anything in the real world and you're just hearing what's coming back through the microphone, then, or through your headphones, it could very easily throw you off if you are hearing yourself speaking perfectly on the outside and then you hear delays coming back through your headphones, it can throw you off. And that's the demonstration I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do for you here in a moment. But it's very important that if you have the ability to do post-processing, that's where you're gonna to want to try to do your VSTs and your processing. You don't wanna do any of this, th those kinds of things that can add too much delay because it's going to potentially throw you off. Now, what do I mean by that? This here is a Behringer Shark FBQ 100. Now this here is, is part of all the cables all over the place, but this is a bit of a fun demonstration we're going to do. I'm going to actually put up this microphone and this microphone at the exact same time so that you can hear me as of right now. So now you can hear me through both of these, but this microphone is going to be lower in volume than this one is because this one is going to start delaying. And let's just say I have my headphones on like I do right now, and I am hearing my voice come through the headphones and I'm hearing myself being processed from the computer back into this microphone. Well, if I delay the audio too much, it's going to potentially throw me off, okay? And I'm going to now monitor just the sound coming from this. Ah, there we go. Real world. I did say this is candid, real world, right? 
you're now hearing me coming through both of these microphones with zero delay. And the Behringer Shark does have compression and, lim and filters and gates and stuff like that, but we're only gonna be using the delay. And right now I'm adding one millisecond of delay. So one millisecond is the equivalent of me being about one foot off of a microphone. No big deal. Let's add some more. I'm going to actually, let's just say we're going to go up to the DAD Connect low latency mode, which is right here at about 19 milliseconds of delay. So sorry, you're hearing a little bit of a pop on there. We're going to find our 19 milliseconds of delay. So the delay you are currently hearing me on is the delay that comes through the DAD Connect wireless system, which is less than half a frame if you're in the United States. Now, let's go up to the next latency setting, which would be if it was about 30 milliseconds you're going to hear what that's like and sorry this may be kind of punishing to listen to but stay with me it's going to be kind of fun because you're going to see where we're going with this eventually this is 30 milliseconds of delay now let's go up to the dad connect high latency mode and you're going to hear how much it's affected there so this is 40 milliseconds of delay and this is how approximately one frame of delay is sounding. Now, the reason why it's very important for you to not hear too much delay is because your brain naturally will hear and if you know, hear your voice. And so if you speak, your brain is expecting you to just speak it and hear it instantly. But when there's a delay and it comes back into your ears, your brain has to reprocess it and say, wait a second now, what am I hearing? That's myself, why is there a delay? And it can kind of confuse your brain. So if you add too much delay, like for example, if you add typically, they say that it's about 200 milliseconds of delay is usually about the minimum it starts to happen. I'm gonna go for it and do right about 200 milliseconds of delay and we'll see how bad I am thrown by this. Okay. I'm hearing all kinds of delay. And you're able to hear about a fifth of a second delay from my voice right now. And luckily I'm able to do pretty good I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to be thrown off because I was about to say I'm doing pretty good with this, but I'm hearing myself speaking through my microphone, back process into my ear, and my brain is being thrown off ever so slightly. It's being thrown off a little bit by by, by, it. by it. it. You can, you can hear, me, hear now. me now. This is, this is what's, what's known as speech jamming. jamming. So, you so you can, can use delay to speech jam. jam. Usually, Usually between about two, 200 milliseconds and about 350, 350 or 400, 400 milliseconds, that's usually, that's usually the sweet, sweet spot because it throws you off just enough to mess, to mess you up, up completely. completely. Oops, let's go, let's go back down. Okay. okay. Let's go back down to about 400. Oh, jeez. Oops, I'm going Oops, down. I'm going down. All, right. All right. Man, it's so, so delayed, delayed right, right now. Oh, oh come, come on. on. Okay. Okay. 400, 400 milliseconds, milliseconds of delay right now. Right now. If, it's if it's punishing to you right now, right now it's, very it's very punishing to me. To me. I'm, I'm, hearing I'm hearing it speaking, speaking in, my ears, in my ears, and, and I am very much delayed. delayed. This is, this is punishing. Now, if I, now, want, if to I want to go for, go for broke here, here and really, and really have, fun have fun with this, this let's go all the way up, the way up to two and a half seconds of delay, which is the thing right here. Seconds at max of delay, max which out. is the thing Jeez. right here at max out. It's max out. Totally max. Cheese. It's totally okay. max. I'm hearing myself at about a two and a okay. half second delay. I'm hearing delay right myself now. at about and a two and a half second delay right now. And this is terrible. I know you. It's dri it's driving you nuts. It's driving me you crazy. Okay. It's okay. I'm speech jammed. I'm speech jammed. I'm speech, I'm, speech jam I'm speech jammed because I'm hearing it in my mind. This is punishing. This hurts. And so this so, is punishing. This hurts. Don't want to do this anymore. So I'm, I'm don't, I don't want to do this too. anymore. Do this. I'm hearing okay, myself talk. You're down. hearing this too. And I don't want to do this. Okay, let's, let's go, go back down. Back down all and the way. let's go back down all the way. There. Now we're not delayed in any, in delayed anymore. I'm so used to expecting to hear myself echo back in my own ears. It's driving me crazy. But now it is restored and everything is happy to the world. But that's why delay is very powerful.
If you hear too much delay, it's going to completely throw you off. If you're trying to do something like just use your wireless system or just do a podcast and there's too much delay, it can totally throw you off and it can even start to mess with your brain and speech jam you. So you don't want that to happen. But keep in mind also that there's a whole bunch of environmental factors that can happen to it. And if you're yelling and stuff, it can affect your sync. If you're trying to sync something up because you don't have time code and you're doing a, 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 a soft, sl a, 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 a loud slate, let's just say that's going to be picked up on a microphone that's far away. That right there is a big thing to keep in mind too. If you're not using a smart slate and your, your time code should be matching on your recorder and your camera and you know, you should be able to just post those together. But then if you do, the sound that's traveling through the air is going to be a couple of milliseconds off if you synchronize it that way. If you do it by the clap noise, matching it to sound on the camera, which many pro cameras don't record sound, so you're not going to even have that through something like pluralize or being able to phase align it, you're not going to have that as an option. So this is an important thing to understand. Delay. Keep in mind that delay is both environmental as sound travels in the real world and is going to be making its way through the air to your ear and it's it matters when it comes down to processing your sound in real world type environments i'm still so thrown off by this i'm sorry but that's it thank you for tuning in this episode of sound speech and be sure to tune in the future for more brain flustering fun and games and sound advice have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.